Hi guys, how are you? God bless you. So let's talk about fasting. What is fasting? Fasting means to voluntarily obtain from eating foods with the purpose of seeking the presence of God and to have intimate communication with Him. Fasting is a spiritual weapon. Okay, I have one question. Is fasting an option or a mandate? Um, I think I know it's a mandate, right? Okay, so... Um, what are the purpose of fasting? Um, I list seven. So the purpose of fasting, number one, to have communication with God. Number two, die to self. Number three, seek the intervention of God in our lives. Number four, receive power and fire of God. Number five, win spiritual battles. Number six, sharpen our spiritual perception number seven purify the mind number eight to hear the voice of god and that's the reason why we should fast um and um jesus said that there is a certain type of demon that will not come out or leave unless we fast and um, that's the reason why we need to fast because there's certain demons that don't come out it doesn't matter if you rebuke it if you cast it out if you don't fast it's not going to come out all right so I'm trying to find any other question that people ask about fasting. If you um, want to ask me a question about fasting, it is very simple. I just went over it and um, I gave you the purposes. I gave you the purposes of fasting. Um, one other point, let's see. Um, Oh, there are situations and crises that will not change until we fast. So, um, all right, now I'm going to talk about my experience about fasting. Okay, the times that I, the times that, that I, I fasted, well, um, we're supposed to fast, like, often, you know, but I'm just trying to, I'm going to tell you my experiences. So, um, when I fast, I feel the power of God more. I feel his presence more. Uh, it is easier for me to get into his presence and it's easier for me to hear his voice. It's easier for me to be more spiritual, to prophesy, um, to do things that I want to do that I, I can't do when I don't fast. It, it, it's wonderful, really. It's wonderful. Um, you cry you cry out more, you have more words for him. It's, I mean, you have to experience it so you could understand me because um, the times that I have fasted um, and I, I, I fasted over my job, over my husband, over a miracle or something that I asked God for. And guess what? Um, since I sacrificed myself and I fasted, God gives it to me. That's like an easy way of getting things of God listening to your prayers and answering your prayers through fasting and of course faith but um I love fasting you know when I am fasting and I go to church I feel the presence more I'm I mean I'm more into it and um, I try not to eat before I go to church because I my, I want my spiritual eyes to be open, my ears to be open, my heart, my mind, my soul, everything. Because God works in miracles and wonders. God is a very mysterious God. So um, um, when you fast, you could see so you could see more in, in in the spirit, you know. You could you're more spiritual. You you could hear things. You could see things. Uh, you could feel things better. 
it is it's just it is just wonderful and god speaks to you it's like um when you fast you have all the attention of the whole kingdom of god of the whole church and the pastor and everything because um they can see that you know if you are in the spirit they can see that um that you are in the spirit that you are fasting that um I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but um, I love fasting. You should try it. Um, there's different type of fasting, which um, I don't have it here with me. I'm going to try to find it in the book. Um, yep, yeah, it's right here. So I'm going to read it to you. It says, um, Jesus said, when you fast, to demonstrate that fasting is not an option, but in mandate, fasting means to voluntarily abstain from eating foods with the purpose of seeking the presence of God and have intimate communication with Him. It is not merely the act of eat, of not eating to lose weight, to be seen by men. It is a spiritual weapon to bring, that brings breakthrough to our lives. Fasting can start two ways. Initiate, initiate it by us. When we fast with the purpose of knowing God at a deeper level, to fall deeper in love with Him, and to gain greater spiritual discernment, initiate by God. One day you wake up and don't feel hungry. Then suddenly you feel the need to fast for a son or a daughter for your home or to find a solution to some problem. This is the Holy Spirit who moves you to proclaim a fast for a specific situation. Purposes of fasting. Have communication with God. Fasting should not be a burden, but a delight. Therefore, do not be filled with guilt if you fail to do it one day. Nothing helps to enter the throne of God more than obedience and fasting. Die to self. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayers were returned to my own heart. That's Psalm thirty-five, thirteen. For Jesus, the apostle, and the first church, fasting and prayers were a lifestyle choice. Fasting, disi fasting disciplines our old sinful nature and skills and kills the desires of the flesh, so we can seek the things of the Spirit. Seek the interve intervention of God in our lives. When faced with difficult situations or decisions, proclaim a fast and ask the Spirit of God to counsel and guide you. Involve God in your decision and trust that He will intervene. Receive power and fire of God. During the fast, God will always impart his power over us to heal the sick, cast out demons, and fight the good fight of faith. Seeking God through fasting and prayers is the first step required to minister others. How wonderful is that, right? Win spiritual battles. Fasting is a weapon of warfare. Jesus there. Jesus said, there is a certain type of demon that will not come out. There are situations and crises that will not change until we fast. Fasting sharpens our spiritual perception. Just as we are unable to see through dirty glass, the flesh, old man, or deceitful desires will not allow us to see or hear the instruction of the Holy Spirit. Fasting purifies the mind. If your thoughts are carnal or if you often struggle with the temptation to sin, proclaim a fast to be free. Fasting forces us to feed on the word and on the will of God. Fast to hear the voice of God. Only through fasting and constantly seeking God will we be able to know what he is saying in the here and the now. Logos is the word of God that never changes, but Rema is the revealed 
word of God that comes directly to the heart through the Holy Spirit. In Lahman terms, when we fast, we are kept on the cutting edge of the God. In doing in the here and now, one thing is to live on what God says and quite another to fast and hear what God is saying. He has not stopped talking to us. So, yeah. That is what I wanted to read for you today, Presenting Our Body Through Fasting. This is a great book, Life Lesson, and by Apostle Guillermo Maldonado. See? You could purchase it at any King Jesus library. I am reading this book, and I'm so excited about it. It's Life Lesson number seven. So I invite you to read it. It's great for you. There's a lot of things that you're going to learn. So go ahead and buy it. It will help you a lot in your everyday li uh, living. So God bless you all. I hope you like what I read. I'm going to be reading more of this delicious book. <laughs> it is delicious because it feeds my soul. God bless you all. See you later.